hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel so this was me just prepping myself for my photo shoot it was the week of my wedding and we actually decided to do our traditional wedding on thursday and then have a white wedding on saturday because my husband's family they are from delta state and it's a very long journey we didn't want to keep them around for too long so we needed to do everything within one week from the beginning i already intended to use my natural hair for both my traditional and white wedding but my sister decided to get me a wig so i was like okay i'm just going to use the wig for only my white wedding and use my natural hair for my traditional wedding the last time i visited the salon the lady that did my hair she put so much oil on my scalp and that really irritated my scalp this is one of the reasons why i don't like to put oils on my scalp but when she was doing it that they was like let me just let it be and see if it's going to get any better and i just realized that oiling the scalp is not for me if it's for my edges yes but for my scalp absolutely not unless i'm washing it off like 15 to 30 minutes after applying it to my scalp <laughs> i went in with the tgi and smooth and protect edge control it does not leave any white cast and is perfect for laying your edges by this time we already made our traditional outfit but the problem was the cap that was made for my husband was too small so i had to step out quickly on the morning of the pre-wedding photo shoot to go check out some new caps that would be able to fit his head perfectly the first vendor i met had all types of design but they were all very small so i decided to go across the road and check out from more vendors and see the type of calves that they had and if they were going to be a perfect fit the second vendor also had very similar designs in fact this particular one was the exact one they made for my husband initially but it did not fit so i had to check out more options i actually found one that was very okay and when i was checking these out i was sending him pictures on whatsapp to decide on the kind of design that he wanted i even went ahead to test it on my head just to make sure that it was going to fit on his own head although his head is bigger than mine but i just needed to make sure i also went ahead to get some beads for him as for me i already had my beads so i didn't bother to care for myself why on my way back i was lucky to find a keke and i was the only person in it i was just literally enjoying myself and enjoying the view i scheduled my shoot for one o'clock and immediately i got home i just showered arranged my stuff and was on my way to my makeup artist place she was already there by the time i got to her place and we started right
So the photographer that I needed videos for my other social media platforms, including YouTube. So we had to bring a videographer and also a girl that was a content creator. The first outfit we wore was my traditional outfit. I'm from Benue State, Tiv by Tribe. So we decided to first go with my outfit before using the Delta outfit. <music> outfit we first stood alone like i stood alone and then my husband stood alone so we first took single pictures before taking pictures together while coming for the photo shoot my husband brought his auntie and also the daughter the auntie has a bridal shop she's also a wedding planner so while she was coming she brought all the beads we needed for the delta outfit from the things that she actually rent as a wedding planner she's so skilled at tying gilly so she tied my hair for both the teeth traditional outfit and the urubo traditional outfit i was really grateful because the whole time was wondering who is going to tie my hair but when she came along i just knew that my problem was solved so she dressed me up she put my beads she helped me put on my dress and it was really really great to have people around me that were helping me get dressed i'm someone who really loved to take pictures and videos but trust me it can be really exhausting taking pictures at some point i was really tired even if i'm a picture person like i, I was really exhausted with the smiling changing of styles Plus, my husband is not a picture person. I literally have to force him sometimes to take pictures. The beads that I used for the robo outfit were so heavy. Like, these beads are really, really heavy. But it made outfits, like, look really, really good. Overall, I loved my outfit. In fact, this is the inspiration that I actually used to make my outfit. And I think I got exactly what I want. Not that I think. I actually got exactly what I want. <music>
photo shoot i went to check out our banners this was the inspiration we had in mind but it didn't end up going through we ended up going with something else in fact i didn't even notice on my wedding day till after everything when we had the after party that i discovered that we did not even end up pushing through with the initial design we had in mind my wedding was gonna be held in the village so i traveled a day to that day to meet my sister in boko which is closer to my local government and then we moved the following day i also went with my younger sister and my sister also decided to bring her friend along as you can see we came down from the car we had to walk because the ground like the road was no good so we had to come down so she can be able to drive and go forward then we can go back into the car and then we'll be on our way for the meantime we're just enjoying the view like the green vegetation and all the funny thing is the nights before my wedding and even the morning of my wedding like i was not hungry i could not eat i was not just able to eat i did not feel like eating so we finally got to the compound and you can already see that they were setting up the compound for the occasion by this time my mom and the other women that came to help already prepared food they prepared rice swallow and all types of food i and my elder sister decided to step out for some few minutes to go see my elder brother we lost him in 2019 we just went to have a little conversation with him so usually the way traditional wedding is done in my tribe that day when you arrive the men and the groom and with his people they're going to sit discuss when they are done discussing everything then it's going to be the turn of the women so everything that is being asked for the traditional wedding is going to be brought in for both genders that is for both the men and the women everything will be brought in they will check everything if there's any negotiation to be done they're going to negotiate accordingly also it's not a must for you to buy everything for example if you're asked to like buy 10 gallons of granite oil or red oil you mustn't buy that 10 gallons of granite oil you can reduce it to six or even five the traditional wedding was on thursday and friday was my my bachelorette party so i invited my girls over my husband already booked a hotel room for us actually two rooms so when i got there i had to call my stylist she needed to install my wig a day to the day of my wedding so that the following day she can just come and style after the makeup artist is done doing my makeup so i did a really really simple bridal party like i just invited my girls we had cake we had two bottles of wine that i got non-alcoholic actually because I wouldn't want to be drunk on my DD. We sat at the poolside. I didn't even do any makeup or wear anything special. I just put on white um, jeans short with the top. And then we just had a great time just there. And I made sure to go to bed before 12 o'clock because I don't want the situation where I will be sleeping while mass is going on or I will be very dull on my wedding day. I had three of my sisters, my younger sisters on my train, then um, about two of my friends and then one of my school daughter from secondary school funny how my friend lost her way while coming back to the hotel room so i literally had to come out and open the door while calling her name my chief bridesmaid was also someone i knew from secondary school like we're really really close friends she's the one that is putting on a blue shirt and a black trouser here so all three of these girls are my very close friend and the one sitting on the chair is the one that made all my dresses apart from the delta outfit in summary we had a really great time talking laughing taking pictures making videos and just having some general conversations when i tell you i wanted to change my mind last minute concerning this week like it was not comfortable like i just hated the feeling of a wig on top of my head like it was just stressing me out if only it's a glueless wig yeah i've worn glueless wigs before and they were very okay but you see this frontal frontal is not for me i will not try it again a lot of my secondary school mates turned up for my wedding most of them were on my shribi and the rest that were not they wore um, different colors to the wedding but this was us just having fun they were dancing around me just cheering me up and i really really had fun after we had the main event on my wedding day we had an after party i danced out my life and by the time i was done i could not walk when I got back to my hotel room my legs were so weak they were so painful that my husband had to give me an injection he's a doctor before you say anything so he literally had to give me a pain relief injection just so i could go to bed so after all the wedding shenanigans we unpacked some of our wedding gifts from the gas cooker the fridge and some other stuff we also moved some of the other things to the store my mom is a farmer so she gave me all those yams so all the gifts that we had we moved them to the store we arranged everything my mother 
mother-in-law also made sure to um, open all the gifts. She said she didn't want us to keep a gift that was not open. She made sure to open everything just in case, just in case, you know what I'm talking about. So I had to stop at the market. I really love this perfume and I've been using it for so long. I also stopped at the supermarket with my husband. We got some few things. It was not a lot of shopping. We just needed to get some things that we really, really really wanted to have at home and we really needed and of course i made sure to get bread because this is a supermarket that i always come to get bread their bread is so soft and very chewy and i like that every time i come to buy bread in this place it's always very hot so i just enjoy eating hot bread and once we're done we just checked out paid for all our items and i was on my way home just look at the small things that i bought all those things ended up costing us almost 50,000 Naira. I'm going to show you people the receipt in a minute. Just look at this. Oh my, it's really, really crazy. Anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye.